Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Brandon's Point of View, Part 2 of Women and Love. Well, the sexual relationship of love. Coming up, we're going to talk about a few things, and we're going to have two segments plus an infomercial. So stay tuned as we kick off Brandon's Point of View with Sexual Relationships, and let's talk about love. Welcome to YouTube, Facebook, or Twitter, or Instagram, wherever you may be. WWE Network, that's what I'm promoting this week, is free to new subscribers. And guess what? If you sign up right now, you'll get the next pay-per-view free. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, sign up right now and you'll get the next WWE pay-per-view, which is coming up in October in September and you'll get to see it absolutely free no cost to you as a new subscriber so go to wwe.com forward slash WWE Network and check it out pretty soon I'll have a WWE Network gift card to give away to anybody who's watching for that passcode Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. So, let's get down to business, shall we? We've been talking about sexual relationships. I posted a thing on my blog, which is right here. If you guys can see it, see? I posted that on my blog. Um, it talks about female, well, female sexual equality. And, you know, it is a relevant conversation because everybody is talking about it so I figured I would talk about it doctors don't really mention it all that much and it's not like it's a key aspect of conversation but it is a key aspect of this week well the next couple weeks actually because I'm going to do another one after this so who knows um the term virginity has been used to classify men and women across the board. They are virgins and they're untouched, totally unblemished. And so, in this case, his or her sex life hasn't actually began, so they're learning about it as they go through school. So as we go through this video, I want to let you know that it does contain adult content relevant to conversation and should be used as noted and age discretion is advised. So let's get along with this. The virginity we classify nowadays is also a part of a woman's life. Um, their vagina has many oracles of conversation and some are talked about more than others. The intercourse of a sexual relationship or penetration of a man's penis into a woman's vagina is often as described and sometimes in that the woman does not get full bliss out of it uh, the constant conversation about it is is that they don't get full erection when they're in having sexual intercourse. And, you know, 
you can't debate it. You can't talk about it. If you don't get her going with other activities before you go in, then you're never really going to give her full insurrection. Um, that case could be made for a lot of us. Some of us more than others. But we're going to move right along here. Virginity applies and has applied to not having sexual intercourse before your age. And usually in the United States it's identified as 18 or 21. Depends on what in what part of the country you're from. Some countries have it at 17. It just depends. But it is the girl has identified as not having had sex, i.e. virgin. So when we talk about it, we have to remember that there's many parts to a sexual life that can change as you go along. The conversation can be widening. I put on my blog, I said on here, uh, sometimes the man is doesn't know if he gives her complete pleasure or not, but that is the case in any relationship. So when you're going through this, remember the conversation is there. Just take your time. We'll be right back after this brief break. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is a did you know. Did you know that women have one particular spot on their body that has 8,000 nerve endings? And these 8,000 nerve endings can give them a lot of pleasure. Did you know that? Would you like to guess where it is at? If you would, stick around and you have the answer after my point of view. Thank you for joining me. I'll be back in just a few seconds. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I hope you enjoyed that segment. So, we're talking about virginity, and we're talking about pleasure. Women are not always pleasured as easy as a man is. See, for a man, it's just one part of their body that has to be pleasured. They... Once they're done, they're done. But for women, it's a little bit more than that. And sometimes, as men, we forget that part of that, and we move, we go for something else. But it's not always that easy, as some of you might m want to know and need to know. For a man, it is the it is a very common mistake made by some that. They just pleasure themselves, and once they're done, they think the woman is happy, and she will be happy because she was able to pleasure you, but you are unable to pleasure her. Now, there's a lot of things that we walk over the top of as men and we forget, and I'm going to admit to this right now, as a man, I have forgotten that women deserve just as much pleasure as we do. So, let's not forget that as we go along in this segment. A boy cannot find out whether a girl is still a virgin, neither by looking at her, nor by having penetration sex with her. Penetrative sex with her. This is because virginity is defined as not having had any sexual contact of any type and it is not determined by the existence of the membrane in the vagina a girl for example who has disdain from sex but whose membrane has turned has trained for other reasons, a still 
is still a virgin. The only way of knowing whether a girl is virgin is to know everything she has done in her life. And this includes in indeed is possible. So is impossible. So you're not going to know. And no woman talks about it because they're afraid of the man laughing at them. And that is the case. Men have no sense of responsibility. They're disrespectful. And the truth is, some men just don't care. So when you're looking at it and you're talking about it, we also have other things to consider. Pregnancy and disease by using by not using a condom so if you don't protect yourself and you have a disease and you don't tell them you're just you're not even a man then you're a wuss because you, all you wanted was pleasure and so this is why I'm going to encourage you to tell them the truth and they may not like it at first but it is a con it is part of the conversation and ladies you need to talk about it just as much as we need to talk about it because in reality every man has a heart and the truth is is that if I had a disease or I had HIV or anything I would be telling you the truth so if you're not ready to get pregnant then protect yourself and the person you love the most that is the God's honest truth going forward we'll be right back after this brief break hey everybody so, if you've been watching, you saw the Did You Know segment. Well, here's your answer. It is by their genital area. It's called the vagina. And there is a thin piece of memory. There's a thin skin there where it holds the nerve endings. And it's at the top. So, if you would like to push your skin back a little bit softly now, push it back, and you will see... If you rub, if you softly massage there, up and down, you will see that she will react. And you'll be able to tell that that is where it is. It's called the clitoris. Clitoris. Sorry, I cannot pronounce it, so I really am going to apologize. But it is a clitoris, and... If you look it up online, you will get all your answers. Thank you, and I hope this has been an educational moment for me, and this has been a special educational moment for you. So welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is the end of the show. This is where I tell you how you can connect with me right down here at the bottom. Uh, of course, hit the subscribe button. Always, you can always get new video updates when I post a video, so hit that subscribe button, and go to my blog. My link, the link to my blog is actually in the description below, so don't miss that, and check out my Facebook page, which is also going to be in the description below, and if you want to become my friend, and you want to come on and join me, I look forward to hearing from you. This is Brandon Vaughn, and like I always tell you, this is my point of view. Thank you for joining me, and have a wonderful day. And I'll be back here doing this one more time for you soon. So stay tuned for more. I hope you enjoyed the show. I'll see you next time.